I'm Lauren Daskovich, uh, the Director of Ophthalmology and Eye Health Programs for the Department of Health Services in Los Angeles County. In Los Angeles County, we started a teleretinal diabetic retinopathy screening program uh, that is based in our primary care clinics or diabetes clinics, which is really the point of access for most of our patients. Uh, and that uh, clinic, now we are running in 14 uh, clinics, uh, actually 15 cameras uh, in 14 different uh, primary care clinics spread across uh, Los Angeles County. Uh, and we screen up to, at the stage where we're you know, screening about 75 uh, patients to um, 100 patients a day uh, with our teleretinal screening program and this you know translates into um, anywhere depending on the week between three and four hundred patients a week in the, in the teleretinal screening program. Well, it's made a big difference for us because historically our eye clinics are very, very busy. We see a lot of severe advanced disease and so uh, it's helped us uh, actually triage patients more uh, effectively to get into uh, to get into clinic sooner for those that have uh, more uh, uh, severe disease and need more expedited treatment. And those that have a normal exam, we can actually uh, continue to follow or maintain out of the primary care clinic. So that really streamlines our screening uh, and actually opens up uh, uh, eye care appointments for those that need it the most. Any way in which, uh, in, a, in a system such as ours, that we can provide the same or higher quality of care with lesser resources, uh, especially manpower resources, uh, is very effective for our entire, for our large system across LA County. And so automated screening, a robust, reliable, effective automated screening program would allow us to do that in just that way uh, of really providing the same or even higher quality of care uh, for the same amount or even less of resources. Based on uh, the the robust studies that we uh, that uh, and the study numbers that we have recently seen, uh, iArt certainly seems like uh, in an automated um, lesion detection software uh, that it would provide the type of um, sort of resource saving uh, mechanism that we would really need to uh, further our care of our patients uh, in the diabetic population across um, Los Angeles County and really strengthen our teleretinal program so that we can focus our resources on the areas in which we need it most. And in that sense, iArt would actually be uh, also very helpful for us because we are already using the IPACS platform uh, and integrating, uh, since iArt uh, does already seamlessly integrate with IPACS, that, as I mentioned before, a really important uh, piece for us in our system is having something that we can standardize and spread across all of our system. Uh, and having sort of multiple different uh, pieces to that can be very difficult in the safety net. So, so having something that is already integrated into software that we are using uh, would be very critical for us. So the fact that iArt and IPAX uh, uh, are integrated together in that seamless fashion would really help us utilize uh, this software and then also its spreadability across our entire system.